Come on. Come on. There it is. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, there you go. Thank you. 
seven forty eight, forty nine, fifty. Right. Next fifty. All right, folks, that was our max effort upper body lift. We did this, uh, a lot of lifts with the Cadillac bar, the Kabuki Strength Cadillac bar. That thing's a lot of fun, and it's difficult. So it's a new bar, new muscle stimulus, which is exactly what we need for our conjugate system to increase growth. So let's talk over our lift. Um, first thing we did was our warm-up. <clears throat> I did three sets of 25 on three exercises that complement what we're about to do. So we did tricep push-downs, we did some face pulls to activate our, our shoulders, and we did some dumbbell rows to get the back going. Really wanted to get the back activated because I know this Cadillac bar um, is a little bit, just a slightly bit less stable than the regular bar. Um, so I wanted to make sure our back was good and activated so we can stabilize the bar well. We went for one rep max today with double purple bands on there, which adds about um, 35 pounds of tension on each side. So 70 extra pounds of tension at the top um, for the lockout there. Um, Ended up getting up to 405, shot for 415, just barely couldn't lock it out. So that'll be what we end, that's gonna be what I shoot for next time we test this. Uh, try to make a 10 pound jump on there. Uh, but it was 405, neutral grip, mid, mid, mid grip uh, with the Cadillac bar. Uh, the good thing about this is it's got a bow to it. So when your bar is bowed, you have more range of motion at the bottom, which means you get an extra inch and a half work to do when you bench press. So doing that extra work is gonna translate to a bigger bench press when we get to that flat bar. I know it. Um, then we did our down sets, three sets of six at 70%. Following Kremlin's chart right here, optimal 18 reps, boom. Make it simple. Uh, did that at 385, three sets of six. Then we went on to our accessories. Uh, like I said, accessories is the main bulk of these workouts. This is where you do your muscle hypertrophy, this is where you do your ligament work, um, <clears throat> and this is where you really get strong. This is, this is a great mover, these, great, these are awesome, um, but do not slack on your accessories. Keep the pace, keep the pace quick. Um, and push yourself. So there's no weights on here. So you want to put on weight that is hard. Uh, so the first thing we did was a Cadillac bar a seal row with a three second hold at the top. Uh, so we set that up, knocked that out, boom. Next was our straight arm lat pull down. Uh, we did a little bit of a superset here just to keep the pace going. Uh, then we went to the cable stack, straight arm lat pull down there, more, more uh, back work. Uh, then we went to the bench press dead press with max band. So we set the Cadillac bar up again, set it half range of motion, and loaded as many bands as we can on it, and went for eight reps. That's an eight rep max. Um, I believe, I have to go back and check the film, but I believe I did a, a double green, a blue, and a black, um, which was good, and that thing is wobbling and it's tough. Um, that's a great little finisher here. Then we went to our decline, actually, this, this joker right here hurt. Um, decline, 
pause pin skull crushers. You'll see that on the, you'll see that on the film. Um, my pins and my racks, I have a half rack, not a full rack, don't go low enough to get that down in the decline. So I put some uh, bumper plates and some power blocks up, and we set it down and pressed up. Down to full rest, press up. Four sets of 10 there on the skull crushers, went up to uh, 45s and 25s on the easy bar, which, you know, probably 165. Um, then we did four rounds of, lot, we did a lot of, we did a lot of shoulders today. So we did four rounds of the 20 seated overhead press. Um, we did 20 seated side uh, delt raises and 20 seated rear delt raises all in one set. So 60 reps right there, that burned them up real good. We did four rounds there. Um, then we, uh, we also superseted that with our abs. So once we got them with there, we hopped right on over to the glute hand machine and we did oblique twists, right? So we did an isometric hold with an oblique twist. We got to work double abs today. Uh, those, are, those are tough. I definitely recommend you guys trying those. And then of course we go from there to our finisher. Abs aren't the last thing, it always tricks everybody. Uh, we go from there to our finisher and our finisher day was 100 incline tape presses. And then to keep the pace moving, I added an extra 100 banded easy bar. Um, I said easy bar, um, this should just say the banded curls. Boop, it's gone. Um, 100 banded curls, uh, we did them um, um, hammer curls, and we also did 100 forearm extensions each arm, each arm to really build this joint right here. Because the thicker these are right here, the thicker this joint, um, the muscles around your elbow joint are, the bigger your bench is going to be. Um, and I'm on, a, on track, uh, I got a goal to break my plateau, I've kind of been plateaued around 510 pounds on my bench press. I want to get to 600 pounds by this time next year, um, and that's how we're going to do it. We're going to build everything up here, and we're going to smash that 600 pounds. So, um, our 4 p.m. bonus lift will be this afternoon. It's going to be 300 banded triceps. This is for ligaments and hypertrophy. So I'm also doing a bodybuilding competition. Um, and I got moved to September. So this is my, a lot of my hypertrophy work I come back and do as well. Um, so 300 banded triceps, 300 banded biceps, 300 banded shoulders, and 300 banded lats. So I'm going to just pick different exercises and make sure I hit 300 reps on those. Maybe sets of probably 30 to 50. Um, high reps. Um, getting the blood flow in there. A lot of hypertrophy work. But that was the workout today. So tomorrow will be a um, accessory day. We'll come in and we'll hit all these muscle groups again. With it'll kind of look like this, except it'll be a circuit. Um, Friday is our dynamic day. Um, but that's it for today, folks. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you learned something today. And I'll see you next time. Actually, you'll see me next time because I'll see you ever. <laughs>